Wars. <laughs> Palestinian American member of Congress. Uh, Uh, Biden is supporting the quote genocide, genocide of Palestinians, ceasefire. Palestine will be free, which some people um, either ignorantly or cynically interpret as meaning uh, the genocide of Jewish people. Peter Salt explained that that phrase is, quote, an aspiration of all the and human rights and peaceful coexistence, and quote, and she refused to refrain. So, uh... That... 22 Democrats voted for her to be censured. And... ...of Israel and, uh, being interviewed. So, yeah. It is so rich that they're literally, as we speak, Israel is killing civilians, women, children, not distinguishing between Hamas and civilians. And you have members of Congress saying things like comparing Palestinian civilians to Nazis, to Nazis, to Nazis, to Nazis. To Nazis. Civil rights you don't want. Uh, you want an Israeli occupation. Call for genocide and support genocide. No censure. Don't post genocide. Call for equality. Censure. Genocide. Genocide. censure Christian Salim, all of them have received sizable amounts of money from pro-Israel lobby groups, including the aforementioned Richie Torres, who received more than $340,000, and Josh Gottheimer of New Jersey, who received $1.16 million from pro-Mer of New Jersey, who received not congrats to them, congrats to them, Mer of New Jersey, who received a mass murder campaign against the people of Gaza. Campaign, so... Yeah, it's good to have blood money. Under under your belt, yeah. Uh, New Jersey. Jersey. Sympathizing with terrorist organizations. In May 2019, Rashida Tlaib said that she celebrated Tlaib the Holocaust celebrated and felt a calming feeling and when thinking about the genocide of millions of Jews. Such a yeah, what the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? Excuse my language. What the fuck is she even talking about? from the river to the sea, which calls for the genocide of all Jews, 
is an aspirational call for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence. Okay, so we want to set your shit to leave. Okay, she retweeted an image which contains words from the reference to the same Palestine movie. Great. People want to pretend that this is a call for genocide. It's simply a call for equality. Genocide. 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 You know, you can say you support Israel as a Jewish state, but that that means it's a supremacist state. That's what the Israeli Bethlehem calls it, a Jewish supremacist Man. state, because it's uh, privileging the rights of Jews over Palestinians who happen to have been the majority indigenous population forever. And ethnicity to rule over another. The right of the Jewish people to the land of Israel is eternal and indisputable, and it links with the right to security and peace. Therefore, Judea and Samaria, that means the West Bank. That means the West Bank. That means the West Bank. And the Jordan, there will only be the Israeli Israel, only the West Bank. Then the other part of it says, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be an apartheid state because Israel will rule over it and not allow Palestinian state. And essentially, the Iron Control. So the Jewish people are saying, no, you have to live in a state where everybody is equal. You only see that as a threat to We talked about it with legal counsel. We talked about precedent. We did tell the committee to make sure that the facts were straight. We did our homework on whether there is a precedence on this. If this is not worthy of censure, what is? When you can call for the annihilation of a country and its people, if that's not worthy of a censure, what is? Thank you. 
be down for tax in real in case October 7th, 2023 happens. So, you can find that where he dropped the ball. Yeah. And then he says he defended Israel by traveling there. I'm not sure what that contributed to Israel's self defense, but maybe because he's so magical, maybe he can sneaky Sherman then his time travel crystal ball. I do right. He's in the towers. He's in the over on that super on that special mission. Yeah. Let's keep going. I ask you today, Mr. Speaker, if you had the chance to stop the Holocaust, would you? I call upon my uh, you yield for another thirty seconds, please. Recognized for 30 seconds. Give me 30 more seconds, please. I call upon my. I call upon my fellow colleagues. I call upon my. From both parties to say yes. I call upon my. We would stop the Holocaust. 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 If there's a Holocaust analogy to make here, it's the genocide of already 10,000 civilians in just one month by Israel with U.S. support. And rather than call out that genocide, that Holocaust, they're supporting it. And they're censoring the one Palestinian American member of Congress is calling out. Right. It really truly is like Freaky Friday inversion flipped reality on its head. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, let's take a look at this uh, Israeli comedy show that is trying to mock uh, Columbia University's uh, Palestine, pro-Palestine protesters. Hello everyone, we are live on YouTube with Columbia in Semini News. For everyone is welcome, LGBTQH. H. Hamas. Yeah, I just noticed it. Hamas, it's so crazy right now. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Toxic Zionist propaganda. Hidden up to Gaza. Does this look like Gaza to you? Yeah. Well, I have no idea. Let me stop watching. This is brutal. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's the least I can't get the yeah. picture. No, I, I can't take any more. Can't. But it, I, this does underscore to me that, you know, we can say this is Jews. I really feel that he is real. State. It also really ruins everything that's good about Jewish culture. I mean, this is a good like humor. Like, like humor. I mean, so much funny. Jewish humor. There's so much funny with humor. And, it, and the Israelis are even depriving us of that. That's how twisted this, this Israeli state is. Kind of trying to speak for the Jewish people. Because yeah. Jewish people end up diluting everything. Because they're kind of kills everything else, not just people. But also, the essence, like the spirit of the culture itself.
Does anyone honestly think ISIS would? Yeah, I mean, actually, Hamas and ISIS have fought for cost. ISIS maintaining wounded ISIS fighters, became weapons to armed rebels who fought alongside ISIS. That's why the one time ISIS accidentally uh, sent a missile across the Israeli border, ISIS apologized. Any parallel here between Israel and ISIS, it's that they're on the same side. They're on the same side. Um, 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 Of course. Um, 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 what is your analysis of what is happening right now uh, in Gaza?
um, first love on Leon, but also, uh, on Leon, but... Uh, it is Grace. Uh, good evening. I'm speaking with Grace. It's a democracy free zone. And you can see that. And ask me about this from the line. Okay. This is from the line. And it is Grace. Uh, uh, breathing and speaking with Grace. From the average American viewer audience, there is a democracy in process. Uh, is the president of the European Commission? Do they know how he was appointed? How did he become president? Because it's a democracy in process. I feel like I can. used to be the Chancellor of Germany. Now, Ursula von der Leyen was a spectacular, catastrophic failure. Uh, it is Grace, uh, uh, breathing and speaking with Grace. Um, a combination of corruption and incompetence. She was a court case against her. She was being admitted uh, uh, by the authorities, by the judicial um, mechanisms, including the federal government of Germany for corruption. So she came completely, and I could have had the most to reveal. Now, Ursula von der Leyen was a spectacular, catastrophic failure. Um, a combination of corruption and incompetence. Genocide. So what she did was she appointed the president of the European Commission. So the president of the European Commission is not elected, it's appointed. So the people who are appointed to the European Commission are the greater powers. Germany would be the service of France. So she was appointed. this up in a mind-boggling, efficient way. Because she's messed up. She forgot. Um, vaccines. She just forgot. She mentioned that forgot. A major fiasco, anybody who talked about it. And, you know, this person who has us to know she has been elected by no Yeah. 
Something, something happens in the, at the end of the 18th century, capitalism, right? Power shifts away from land ownership to capital ownership. And commerce takes off, nothing to do with the Jews. <laughs> it just took off, it had to do with the British and the Dutch in Amsterdam, that's where capitalism grew out of. But because your people, the Jews, were occupying important nodes in the commercial network, Got rich, all of you. Right. 20% of the Jewish people got very rich as a result. And the Greeks too. As I mentioned the shipping, shipping owners. Or... In places like Constantinople, places like Odessa, places like Israel. Every time there was a crisis of capitalism, it brought, it brought out all those tensions. And there was a pogrom against the Jews in Odessa, in, uh, in Greece, in Petit de Peloponnese. My grandmother, in 1895, was telling me stories of the pogroms of the Jews. So, anti Semitism is deeply embedded in European feudalism and its transition to capitalism. And of course, that culminated into the Holocaust, which is uniquely evil. I never ever recognized the Holocaust. There is no evil done in the world which compares with the Holocaust. There were many genocides. Many, the Armenian genocide, the genocide of the Pontian Greeks, of the Algerians by the French, of you know, the Kenyans by the British. There are lots of genocides. <laughs> but Holocaust, there was only one. Because the Nazis were like stamp collectors. You know how crazy a stamp collector is? He wants, as you can see, it's a he, never a she. The stamp collector wants all the stamps. If there's one stamp missing from his collection, he would go mad, he won't be able to sleep on that. That's the Nazis. They wanted to collect all the Jews and kill them all. No genocide was ever intended to kill everybody. So the Nazis 
committing the genocide against the Armenians. They didn't want to kill the Armenians. They killed 11 Armenians in order to scare off the rest to leave Turkey. Uh, they didn't care if, I mean, if they left the country, fine. <laughs> they, they didn't want to collect all of them and kill them in gas chain. So the Holocaust is absolutely unique, and we Europeans are to blame for that. And not just the Germans. Let us not make this mistake. The Nazi Greeks during the 1940s were just as bad as the, the, the Nazi Germans. The Nazi Kurds were so cruel to the Jews that the German Nazis felt a bit squeamish watching the, the Nazi Kurds. So this is, you know, this is a crime against humanity, against the Jews, by Europeans. Now, I don't have anything against the Jews being in Palestine. You know what I have a problem against? The idea of Terra Nullius. <laughs> the idea that, you know, you remember the Zionist... Uh, it's a without a people. For a people without a land. Right. You know, this is what the British did in, in South Africa. They declared the land, and in Australia, they declared the land to be empty. Of humans, in other words. The humans who were there were not humans. And therefore could be killed at will. And they did it. In Australia, they killed all the Aborigines. The five that have been in the regions, there are 110,000 now. This is a very successful eradication. Very right. complete eradication, right? So there's a tradition of doing that in Europe. Um, and that was applied to the Jews by the Germans scientifically with a stamp collector's mania. But we're all responsible for that. And, you know, you know I'm sure you, you've heard that, but King George, the present king's grandfather, Queen Elizabeth's dad, uh, in 1948, 1949, in some party, he has been uh, reported as saying, very casually, that the problem is, I'm quoting from that, the problem with Mr. Hitler is that he made a moderate anti-Semitism possible. That was the attitude of, 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 of the European ruling class. But anti-Semitism was essential, but you know, Europe did it, and that's not our scale. The idea that we will get rid of all the Jews uh, from the Holocaust country and send them to Palestine, send them to Israel. Yeah? And, and we will uh, support Israel um, in essentially committing genocide, not Holocaust. Not really surprising, huh? In the same way that the European settlers got rid of um, blacks in South Africa to create fully white areas, apartheid. The Israelis would do the same thing to the Palestinians, and Europe would support them. That way, we cleanse our guilt for the Holocaust. And the question I'm asking, oh, the, other, yeah. the question I'm asking, especially I'm putting to my German friends, don't support Israel, come what may, you're being anti Semitic, which is madness. Absolutely madness. No, 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 no. Yeah, so I'm asking them. Okay, how much Palestinian blood will it take to wash off your sense of guilt over the Holocaust? How many tons of Palestinian blood? Can, do you think that, that is a better way of washing off your guilt over the Holocaust? I don't think so. Uh, to what extent will you continue to support the genocide of the Palestinians by the Israeli state before you realize that this is the kind of thing which reinforces the logic behind anti-Semitism? It does not detract from it. Right, and it also is anti-Semitic to suggest that Jews are a monolith who all stand with Israel. No, yeah, right. no, no, no. Indeed, indeed. Look, any, any sentence beginning with the Jews right, no. is wrong, is, is racist. The same way that any sentence beginning with the Greeks is racist. If you, if you, any, you know, whatever you put under the, after the Greeks, the Greeks believe that. Right. It's wrong. Because you know what? I mean, I'm an actor now, I can see my neighbors here around the area. I disagree with everything. <laughs> with all of them. <laughs> so there's no sentence which can sum up what we all think, what we're all like, what, what we all dislike. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely. Any statement about the Jews or the Germans or the Americans for that matter is racist. And, and what is motivating, what in the Marxist analysis is motivating Europe to um, back Israel in this genocide? Is it just the collective guilt or is there a material basis for this? There is no great material benefit directly, but you may have noticed for the European Union, uh, especially in the last 10 15 years, especially after the great financial collapse of 2008. The European Union has lost its way. It has lost its capacity to reproduce itself economically, financially. Um, uh, Europe, Europe's total income, what we call GDP, was slightly larger than that of the United States. Europe has been failing economically. We are increasingly divided. That was eight years ago. Now there's a big clash between the East and the West, and the North and the South. So increasingly fragmented and divided. And especially after the war in Ukraine, of the President of France, the Chancellor of Germany, the Prime Minister of 
that has to be I know for a fact that I'm not going to be doing it. I know the Lord also says to me, they won't see it. But there's a moment that's not in this way, and it's a story. So, if you have a different way, Palestine. That's what we need. I think that the long run, these demonstrations are working. They are eroding the propaganda, the cast iron, solid view that the Israeli state is in danger and needs to be defended by the West. The Israeli state doesn't need to be defended by the West. Advanced army, probably in the world. The state of Israel is not under threat. Um, if there's anybody who is under threat from the river to the sea, it's the Palestinians. It is not the Israelis. So we, we, we need to return a little bit, a little bit of sanity and solidarity with everyone who is working for peace, Palestinians and Israelis. Sorry, before I, I cut you off, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I meant. Oh wow! I didn't know that. All right, I have to look. Well, even if they secretly oppose what the United States is doing, the, the, you know, our presidents and prime ministers um, are too scared to actually express these disagreements, unlike what was happening in previous decades. And that is a major defeat of European democracy, when politicians are too scared to speak their minds. When it comes to war in Ukraine, things are not looking very good for people who supported this proxy war rather than supporting uh, diplomacy to end it. Uh, Negotiations by the U.S. after the U.S. previously blocked negotiations, basically. Um, here. 